Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new indie game called Bear and Breakfast, where you play a bear that runs a bed and breakfast. It is a game that is a laid back management simulation adventure. It's got everything. It's super cute. I've been I've been playing around with it for about the last 30 or so minutes, and I got really carried away and also figured out some, you know, ways to, you know, basically not mess myself up in the in the beginning so you guys don't have to run through that anyways if you like this and you want to see more make sure you comment down below liking subscribing all that fun stuff but make sure you comment down below that you want to see more of this game or at least want to see me play more of this game because this will be just an indie review anyways let's get started why can't i ever fall asleep on time I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from afar. Far away, whatever. Weathered, weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced, pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again. Everything except for the rain. Forget what I said. Sleep is overrated. I guess I'm going to do Marion's voice for them. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Hello? I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. I don't know. Marion's voice doesn't work with them. Move. Can't, can't do that either. Wazda, moving around. Yeah. I'm trying so hard. There we go. Whew! Well, this is convenient. You know what? It's fine. We're doing Marion's voice. Fine. You mean like an introspection thing? Yeah. 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 Oh, there's actually an invisible wall. I skipped all this, by the way. So this is all brand new to me. Bed. Oh, yep. Right there. Sleep. Give it. Give it. Sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. A terrible, terrible movie. I'm trying. I'm trying. There we go. Don't. You're not great at making up, making your mind up. Wake. Huh? <gasps> That's it. No more dumplings before bed, but I love dumplings. Dumplings are so good. For the third time, Hank. For the third time, Hank. Uh oh, better see what's up. See, I'm getting these characters out. Watch this. Love it. Gotta love it. All right, we're going. I was in my cave. We gotta go see our mum. Hi there, mum. I'm up, I'm up! Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked you in yet. Uh, actually, let's do that. that. That's gonna be a different voice, never mind. You you can't call it every that uh, every time. I get a little extra sleep besides. Besides what? I had hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, Mom, thanks. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in a room, and with Will, probably. I should go wake them up. Alrighty, honey. Let's go. Yeah, they're just over here. Anyways, yeah, this is pretty much the game. You just explore, we've already... If you guys want to see the tutorials, just go ahead and get the game. It's like $20 on Steam. Very inexpensive. This is their room. We're gonna be back here soon. Good! Get out! Morning! Out! 
That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. Oh, I should do I should totally do Karen's voice for her. That's that's way better. What what do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. Um, what's on the docket today, boss? Digging in a new hole next to our next to the other holes, excuse me. Actually, mom said that she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What I tell you? I live for the hunt. I she yeah she doesn't work with the Karen. Yeah, I actually don't know these characters. I haven't read any of this. This is the first time reading this. If you, you happen to understand, how come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new, new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies Ooh. in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. Yeah. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. It's true. Oh, this is such a beautiful game. Look at all the colors. Hank, kids, over here. I just gave her a Brooklyn accent. Don't worry about it. You, oh, oh, I missed that. Coming. Something about digging claws. Let's go. Skip the tutorial. Actually, it says that I can collect something over here. Maybe? Or is that just the, the actual um, house? It must be. Yeah, because you can find things on the um, the map that you can actually collect. At least that's how I find them. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Please. All right, point me to the hole. The black boss. What? <gasps> I know I said no pa going past the fence, but you've all been so good. I need your help. <gasps> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick. And the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave that stinking place. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure? Oh, she's a dog. I get it. I get it. I don't, I don't know. I, I can't tell. I have no idea. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so that you don't forget. Yeah. Don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. All right, you three, and remember... You're getting that bundle and straight away and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Yes, ma. Sh show tutorial. Get out of here. Let's go. Can only sleep at night. You know, I haven't been able. I haven't actually slept in this game yet. Whatsoever. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Any, uh, the Ca Carlian dog. Okay. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. <laughs> and Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom. I definitely not go going to wander too far in the venturous fashion. I promise. We're going to wander. Confirmed. All right, gang. Spr spread out? Love it. 
Love it. Let's go get this. <gasps> I wonder what that is. What in the what? I heard it too. We we better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. <laughs> These eyes. These eyes. What the hell? Let's see where that sound came from. Anger face. Oh, that's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. I love it. This is so good. Yeah, these these little spots, it's like it's like whatever. It's just that's one big rock, you know. Some of them are kind of funny. We'll we'll visit as many as we can. Why this is the timber crossing. The lovely timber crossing. Bon voyage. Okay, we're going to go ahead and collect a bunch of things around here so that we can build up our place. And you can collect them all around the map. I might even skip this as well. I mean, obviously, this is going to be nice and uh, edited for the YouTubes. So if you don't even get to hear any of this, it's probably because I edited it out, maybe. I don't even know. We'll find out. All right. Let's go down here and get some more of these sweet bones. Why, hello there, raccoon person. Let's go collect this as well. Oh, tree branch in the way. Ooh, there's a nice little couch. Bring that, take that, take that, take this. Get caught on things. There we go. I don't think I can handle this bus life. Let's go get a sandwich. What else can we grab? Ah, that should be it. Alright. Let's head down right... Oh, excuse me. I got some trash pickup. Picking up some trash. Excuse me. Don't worry about it. Just getting some trash. Some tasty, tasty trash. Not too bad, not too bad. this grabbing some of that I'm grabbing all of this cleaning it up getting some materials much useful materials to recycle into something else love it gotta love it and that should be it all right we are back let's go into it nothing to lose nothing to gain grab opportunity by the throat excuse me kinky and show it who's boss. A strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck. Blurting out nonsense, it reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, the little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. There we go. Hello! Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is, is someone in there? You? There. Fine. Gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next miney? Oh, miney. Next minor share in the next major maneuver. Excuse me. <laughs> miney. What was I saying? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly... <laughs> Are you talking? Pond Voyage is the multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. 
what? Uh, offering secured touristy adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. It lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of your choice and we'll give you a one to three day all inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pod Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. I don't know how to do his voice. I, I've got nothing for you. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone, anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage Premium premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet, my gullet, and a representative will get in touch. Lovely. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he's he just said. If I heard the shark right, I'm pretty sure he it just wants to give us money. Human grade, primo, a primo, quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I've I've barely seen one in months. That's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful out of attitude, excuse me. I am cheerful! I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human, back. Money, give. Good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Like this one. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Yep. Hello again. Congratulations, you've been automatically entered into standard legally binding agreement. By using your, your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractual. Uh, uh, contract. Contract. Uh, contractually. Oh my god, why was that so hard? Obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. All right, who knows anything about human get houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? Oh, I, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't think... I don't even know where he is these days. 
I doubt he left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out. And tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. All right, let's go to woodwork. Or sawdust, whatever the hell. Let's go grab this real quick. hi -ya! Take that, sweet. Sweet. All right, let's go. Traveling to sawdust, let's go travel to sawdust. I'm also gonna pick up everything, so I'll meet you when we go find Tony. All right, we are back. Let's go talk to Tony. Hi there, Tony. My God, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk. And yeah, we're gonna do a nice little voice for Tony. I'm just yanking your tail, boy. Well, how's your mother? Yeah, she's great. Listen, I wanted to ask you if you could help us. We've got to help. Uh, why didn't you just say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's the shark and the timber crossing. Oh, oh, the redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well, um, we haven't seen those in, in a while, have we? Well, um, well, what, what could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you want, how, how much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, uh, as you, of course, know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the build here, I found all of these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate. Elaborate contours. Naughty frames. Perfect angles. Clearly, all, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all of that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figured out how to read these things. Would you, would you like to be the teach you? Yes! Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this little shack in the Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and a mallet. A uh, ladder, oh, and a couple stacks of pie. Fetch those for me, will ya? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. We got them. So did you find all the wood? Here you go, sir. Yep, got it right here. Grand perfect. You're doing just uh, such a great job. I know, do, doing the Melvin voice is really hard. <laughs> Switch between, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Uh, thanks, I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Well, now I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Let's go. Hip bop bitty bo. He's going over there. Let's go in here. Let's pick this up. So that we can do a few things. Now, I'm not going to use this over here. Which, there's this little... Algrove of, um... Of, like branches and everything that you can cut down with those tools. We're not going to use it for that. We're going to use it for something else. Why not simply just punch the trees? It's pretty funny. All right, we're going to go back over to the timber crossing. Can only sleep at night. It's it's you know, it's nighttime. Why can't I sleep? I have no idea. I don't know if I just like lie on the ground and just fall asleep. I have no idea. I mean, I guess it's not night just yet. All right, let's go talk to Tony. Hi, dear Tony. Yes, all the all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do just nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friends here, the wood you brought out to be the, ought to be enough. I'll get started on this first. You'll have to clean up the shed from the of all the garage. Garbage. Garbage. I almost said garage. I think I can do that. I already did. Did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. 
Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in the air. In thin air, you'll need something to make it, make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it together while I tidy up the place. All right, let's go do that while also doing this. We're gonna get that going. And we're gonna get this. And pick up those, um, the plywood that's on the ground. Cool. All right, stock to the man. Pony. Did you get the workbench fixed? Like Brandon's making new. That's good. Enough. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. He's gonna whap that tail around. And do them sweet, sweet beaver things. This is such a cute game, man. I love this. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get the get the better. What? Now human now humans got over the cold stone floors in itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, sp springy surface. Here. This is none of those things, but it'll do. We're not going to use that. Go make one at the workbench. I, I have to? Oh. All right, fine. Crafting. Let's go ahead and craft this. Beep. Not too bad. I don't know how you sell things in this game. Were you were you able to make that bed? Yep, it's right here. I didn't think it would look any worse than the than the than the schematics. Excuse me. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better, better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom. Put a bed in it. All right, we're gonna do a two by three, probably. Or not a two by three, a three by three, possibly. Because this is about 10. I think, I don't know what this is gonna be. What is this? 10 by seven, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a three by three. Which that would mean I can only get I'll do two three by threes and then maybe a bathroom maybe. I don't know. I don't really I don't really I've only seen like what bedrooms are or whatnot. Add tile cost. Let's go ahead and put a... Excuse me? Let's go ahead and put this nice little bed right here. What's that? Oh, they can't actually go in there. Let's add a door. Um, I'm thinking adding the door right there. And, and then we can make some furniture for this room later. That's gonna cost 90. Shouldn't be too bad. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to be a... I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You're encouraged... You're... You encourage weird. All right, now. This is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. By having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome. I'm putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where where to go. And a little black book to keep records for the shark. Ah, oh, yes. Here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Awesome. After, after you made it, excuse me, and just put it down in the shed. And then it's time to take rake in the dough. Lovely. Let's go back over here. Bibbity pop. As you can as you can tell, I'm not like a big fan of like tutorials and games. I just kinda like to do things. I don't know how if anybody else feels that way, but I definitely feel that way. Um there we go.
Just put it right there. Cool. How much money do we have? Inventory 160? Okay. Did you place the front desk? Yep. It's it's in there. It looks good. If I if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a, you're a natural hag. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sh you sure know how to take a compliment. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we've got this joint already. Uh, yeah, let's go to bed. Lovely. This is the first time I've ever, I've ever slept in this game. That way, us going to bed, um, because the customers will come at night. They don't come in the morning or anything. Obviously, because they're sleeping there. Press the green button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations! Your premium property is now listed on the network. The network? A time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on the Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, Keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations! Your premium property is now listed in the network. You can now start... Earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Cool. Yeah, let's keep doing that. So yeah, what do you guys think about this game? I mean, obviously this is mostly tutorials and whatnot, but it is what it is. Let's go here. Get this guy, Reagan F Frederick. Cool. Assign him to that. Lovely. Easy peasy. Let's go back to the shark boy. My old sharky shark. Let's go, baby. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got a human on the way. Congratulations! You are now on your way to financial independence. Yeah. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. Oh. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands, as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Well, oops, you daisies. Um, I'm going to go pick up this wood over here. Might as well. Even though I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of wood, we do. I don't know, I just like to keep myself, you know, full of wood. Full of nice, nice wood. All right, let's go do some quests. Uh-oh, alert, alert! Looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't... Prestige! Oh, wow. That means that the decoration levers... Le levers. Levers. Look at them levers over there. Levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly! But it looks like my room... In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Yes, go crazy for knickknacks. I love knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before you returning. You've got it, friend. All right, let's go talk to some um, some furry creatures. By furry creatures, I mean let's talk to this human over here and pick up all this trash. Why, hello there, human. Oliver. Well, hello there, bud. Are, are you a good-looking one? I haven't seen lightness in your buses before. Around my buses before. I like your hair. Soft bear noises, because he can't... He, he doesn't speak. That's so funny. Oh, what kind of... What a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the businesses. The bosses, excuse me. Here, if... 
if it wasn't evident. <laughs> ah, look at me. Of course, it's, it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you can do me a solid? I got this letter. I've been dying to say. But I can't just leave my buses. There's not been any posts since, well, in years. You probably know that there's places better, these places better than I do. Do you think you can find your way to sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? I sure can. She usually hangs out in the fire watchtower. Cool. Let's go take his uh, pen. Nice. Let's go take that pen. What else can we grab? Let's go actually clean this up because we're going to have to at some point anyway. hey -ya! Take it. Take it. Take it. All right, let's go talk to this raccoon. Why, hello there, Spiffo. Let's also take this couch. Hey, <gasps> I was about to say, I'm like, what? Excuse me? Oh, there, big fella. Um. Where did, where did you come from? I live here. Where do you come from? All right, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble. Uh, no. I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong. My colossal companion. I got what you need. You've summoned a boss upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There is... There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great. Let me just have a look at in that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do you, I know I can trust you? By, um, the word of height. Be that as it may. We don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. I gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's buses, there's the bus depot across the road. I can smell stinky tuna from there. Buy me a snack, then we can talk. I already got that sandwich. Here you go, buddy. Do you find my grub? Right here, bud. Dale bread, crunchy cheese, we gold mustard. Mm. That's all I could find. Mmm. Just like mom used to make. All right, you brutish sharper. I'll. Let you buy my special selection of swill. And here. Swill, that's alcohol, isn't it? I'll let I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Nice, let's go. Let's go. What did he give us? Oh, he must have gave us valuables. It makes sense. Okay. Uh old drawer. Um, cabinet, that's a two, the nightstand's also two. This old drawer's a three, that's pretty valuable. Carver box, box is kind of awful. Let's get these. So I'm probably gonna have two rooms for a little while, so I'm gonna get two of each of these. Maybe not the janky one, we'll get the better one later. I will get two of these mats. I wonder if there's a better way. Oh, okay. Let's just do it this way. I don't really care. So we've got... That's only a two. That's a two, and that's a one. Uh, there's better rugs than a, than a one. I guess I'll grab... These are drawers. Cabinet. Let's get these nightstands. Okay, I can just right click for that. Alright, cool. Then I'm gonna get wall lamp. Let's get two of these. Alright, that should be fine. Let's accept his quest. So, how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. 
No, no, it's it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of, of the new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. What? The big inferno? Like a nuclear bomb? What? Maybe? Huh. Yeah, we used to used to never be allowed to pass the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own this place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyway, humans back in the droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. It'd probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell them back to. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I'm raccoons. That's so good. That's so funny. Well, I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is one, one and done deal. They just need a couple things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of goods we'll have in the shop. Lovely. All right, let's go, let's go do some more things. So he wants us to get prestige up. That's gonna be fairly easy to do. Talk to Tony. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, hello. Look, I have it on a very good authority that the kiosk up there is the next best shot to getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? What authority is that exactly? Um, well, oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was the first thing a human built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you're actually no, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular par parallel piped. Yeah, piped pipe. Excuse me, rectangular what? So, um, I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. That'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with uh, with that. Oh, it is brilliant idea. As usual, by his son, student. Yes, that's what I said. Oh, it's because he likes Margaret. That makes sense. I I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there, clear the place out of, of all the rubble. Then we'll get to the building. I already did. Excuse me, what? What did I miss? Right. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. Go on now, move. Never speak to me again. So all clean, almost sparkly. Wonderful. Now, if I remember correctly, there are a few things that humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I, I just need to get all together. I'll need a bit of human literature, I got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in Sawdust. Oh, and uh, some sort of writing ap apparatus. I think the bus driver might have it in his little bus shack. Great treasure hunt. Take your time, I'll uh, put everything together. I'll uh, put everything... Uh, I'll put together everything else in the meantime. All right, we know where to go. We're, I might go ahead and skip around. There's one character that we have to find, what not?
All right. Ooh, look at the moon. Sabine. Hello. I I don't believe we've met. But yeah, you know, I'm not going to do her voice like that. How do you end up here? With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I think I get the gist of what you're saying. That's hilarious. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual <laughs> literal bear noises. <clears throat> That's the best bear noise I, I could do and it hurt my uh, my throat. Excuse me. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I, I, I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Aha! I'm yoking you! What, what's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. That face. Or Sabine, if, if you're my mom. But I like, I'm Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the best person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie's such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He barely got, barely gotten his driver's license. And I had such a smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. A compass! Where? Cool. Let's see if we can grab anything from here. All right, I'll meet you guys back. Well, we're, we're, I'll meet you guys once we um, get the book. It's it's in the the other bedroom. It's gonna be a trek. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and give this to Tony. Hi there, Tony. Where were where are you able to find it? Everything. Yeah, I know it. I took I took a while, but here you go. Oh yes, yes. This is everything I need. You see, you see our, uh, our customer? Yeah, it won't take too long. Bang, 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 bang. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just like new. Nice. Let's go see our, our new customer. Let's check him out real quick. I had a new customer. If you get close to the humans, they get scared. It's hilarious. He runs. You're doing okay. I'm just a bear watching you sleep. Can I get in there with you, buddy? You not like that? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go finish up the rest of these um, these quests. And I will say, like the beginning of this game does take quite a long time. It's like Stardew or whatnot. I'm back already, bud. Uh, did you find Beatty? Did you, did you give her the letter? Yes, I did. I meant to do the other one. Damn it. Affirm, affirming bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. Oh, or bear. Sorry. So, what did what'd she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bye. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, 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 drawings, all this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do his voice. I'll be honest. I'm trying so hard and nothing's coming. Nothing's fitting him. Whenever. Sh short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake. And look, this is where we are. Oh, and you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. And there's place places the bus couldn't even reach. I know it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. Just... 
me and my buses. But it just don't feel like, feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No, no, no one's really needed for my buses in a long time. I can't, I, nothing, nothing feels right for them. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. But with, with all the new folk starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up, like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Cool. The first one right there is at the shed. How about it? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And now we have that open as well. Which will allow us to make more bus signs and everything. Which is one of the ingredients to actually fix this up. See, bus sign. They're super cheap. Cool. That will, will allow us to fast travel. Let's talk to him. hey yeah! Did you get that bus stop fixed? Why, yes I did. Approving by bear noises. That's great, bud. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took on the other hand was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen bologna. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose. It is already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, this is the voice, by the way. Just give it a wash. Slap on a new sign. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. Cool. Let's go talk to Took real quick. Hi there, Took. Is the gas ready? It is ready. I never thought I'd see this. Lageria, excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, it was uh, 38 across and the 1982 crosswords semis. What the hell is a semis? Oh, or semis, that makes sense. Why, oh, what the fuck is a semis? Excuse me. I found the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're, you're thinking of the other thing. Bell that too. Whoa. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy the dumpster. Now, look at his face. Oh, and I put a good word with the big cheese. Lovely. All right, Hank, my boy. I've, I've done all that I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her you drop by. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Junk's garbage. Brew. Hank, Hank, where are you? Running. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and he he taught me how to find some lumber and. Then we made a bed for humans, and and where where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now, but we also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yeah. Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. This is such a lovely game, dude. This game is chef kiss, mwah, so good. Absolutely addictive, absolutely addictive. This is a nice little place too. There's there's a really nice character in, in this um, area, but we just, we're not able to actually get there yet. That's gonna be the next part, which I might not be able to show. This is This is already like, Almost an hour long for me. Hank! Kids! Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious! 
Are you alright? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. Alright. Good. What was in the thick hat of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. You put him to do this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been like two days. It's been days. Yeah, exactly. Humans are coming back. <laughs> Her eyes doing that. And another thing. They, they're what? And we're helping. I, I see. Well, I, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more to visit. And they'll bring money and trash. And we'll get to learn all about them. And, and I get to make stuff for them. Me. Tony taught me how to build a bed. And I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there, there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're... Oh, that was very cryptic, by the way. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah. We gotta go check on our humans. Trucker hat. Yeah. All right, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time. In case it rains. Now get some rest. Anton! Oh! Uh, don't get up for me. I can just see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I didn't know such thing. Relax, it's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size does, doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you make quite an impact on my trash talking associate, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up on the way to the, to the old Rose Binkley. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. He's going to kill me? Or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do you want... Do what you want, I don't care. <laughs> Lovely. Well, that's, that was weird. I love it, man. Can I go to bed? Only sleep at night. I believe it's night. Alright, so... Go and skedat. Anyways, folks, that is it for me today. If you want to see more of this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Not only that, but like, subscribe. You know, consider liking and subscribing and ring the bell. You know, it only helps me out. Also, checking out some of my links down in the description. But if you would like to see more of this, make sure you comment down below and let me know. Or else, I'll be playing this on live on Twitch, which is also a link, link down below. Anyways... Thank you guys, and have a good one.